If you thought the iPhone 17 was impressive, wait till you hear what Apple is preparing next. The iPhone 18 isn't just another upgrade. It's the second phase of Apple's biggest lineup overhaul in years, and early reports make it clear this one's going to be worth the wait. For starters, the dynamic island might finally be gone. Apple introduced the notch, then the island, and now they're reportedly ready to move the Face ID system under the display. Not in 2027, not with the big 20th anniversary iPhone, but starting next year with the iPhone 18. If Apple pulls this off in time, the iPhone 18 will be the first Apple phone with a clean, punch-hole display. No notch, no island, just a minimal cutout and nearly uninterrupted screen real estate. For people who always preferred the punch-hole look on Android phones, this alone makes the iPhone 18 a tempting upgrade. But the biggest upgrade might actually be behind the phone. Apple is planning to introduce a variable aperture camera for the first time. And this is huge because it lets you control exactly how much light enters the lens. In low light situations, you open it up for brighter, more detailed shots. In daytime, you tighten it for sharper results. Samsung is also working on a wider aperture for the S26 Ultra, but theirs is fixed. Apple is going for real mechanical control. This is the kind of change that photographers have been begging for on smartphones, and it might be one of the biggest jumps in iPhone camera history. Design levers get something too. The iPhone 17 Pro switched to aluminum, but it still had that very obvious glass section on the back for wireless charging. And on some colors, the contrast was kind of distracting. New reports say Apple is working on a far more seamless rear design for the iPhone 18 Pro, minimizing the color difference so the back looks cleaner and more unified. It's not a radical redesign, but it's exactly the kind of detail Apple users notice instantly. And now let's talk power, because Apple isn't playing around here. The iPhone 18 Pro models will reportedly launch with the new A20 Pro chip, Apple's first 2 nanometer processor. While the A19 Pro is already fast, the move from 3 nanometers to 2 nanometers is a major technological leap. Smaller transistors mean more efficiency, better thermal control, and significantly better battery life. Samsung is getting ready to debut its own 2 nanometer Exynos chip next year, so Apple clearly wants to stay competitive. If you care about performance, this is one of those upgrades that you'll feel every single day. But maybe the biggest reason to wait for the iPhone 18 is software. It's no secret that the last couple of years of iOS updates have been shaky. Buggy updates, unstable features, and Apple intelligence, which took much longer to mature than anyone expected. Apple partnering with Google to finally stabilize and improve Apple intelligence could mean that by the time the iPhone 18 launches, AI features will actually be polished, reliable, and far smarter than what we have now. Sure, the iPhone 17 will get the updates too, but history has shown Apple always keeps some features exclusive for newer models. So when you put it all together, a punch hole display, a variable aperture camera, a cleaner design, a next gen 2 nanometer chip, and fully matured Apple intelligence, the iPhone 18 is shaping up to be one of the most meaningful upgrades Apple has made in years. If you've been waiting for a reason to upgrade, this might be the one. Now, I'm curious, are these upgrades convincing enough to make you upgrade to the iPhone 18, or are you gonna stick with your current phone? Let me know in the comments. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.